what's up you guys after show reaction today i'm going to be watching some more supernatural this is season six episode 21 and it's titled let it bleed so i plan on finishing the uh the season tonight uh not feeling the greatest uh so i don't know if i'll be like pausing this and coming back to it later i don't know uh but yeah just thought i'd let you guys know um also, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. I've like tried to make it look a little bit better, but I don't know. Um, also, my camera was in a weird like kind of position. Oh, that's right. I know why. All right, all right. Funny story. You get the funny story. Uh, yesterday I wanted to show one of my friends a creation that I made. Uh, on Fortnite, <laughs> so I called him on Discord, and I accidentally clicked the camera option to call, and my hair was up in a mess, and like my pin, like there was pins everywhere in my hair, like it was a big knot. I didn't have any makeup on, and I accidentally video chatted, and like immediately covered my camera and I must have knocked it so when like I like started up my broadcasting software to, to record this video everything was like like off center and like weird like you could see this light here I don't even know so yeah that happened and I'm very embarrassed about it but yeah um we're almost at the end of season six of Supernatural. Cass is doing some shady shit. Let's get into it. Is this Chuck? Because he disappeared last season. And we know he was typing. Oh, okay. I miss Chuck. You know, this is starting out to be like kind of fillerish, which is kind of weird because it's like this is supposed to be the penultimate episode. Please. We didn't know. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Is this really just going to be a filler episode? Our pal Cass didn't stop in last night just to mend fences. What did he do? Stole a journal? Stole something. What? The journal of one Moisha Campbell. Moisha? Of the New York Campbells. This sounds like Misha. Well, uh, <laughs> Which is what his name I, is. Well, just read the copy I had already made. Hi, glad to meet you. Bobby Singer, paranoid bastard. Go, Bobby! Horror writer at the Mountains of Madness, the Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. No, I'm, I was too busy having sex with women. Well, anyhow, you think Lovecraft knew something about purgatory? All I know is Moshe paid him a visit. Oh, this is the doctor. Was it a doctor or a dentist? I don't know. It's always one or the other. I can't remember. <laughs> See, Ben, this is exactly why you. you... <laughs> This is why you don't ring Dean when you're not in trouble, you ring him when you are in trouble. Ben? There's men in the house. What? They killed Matt. They got Mom. They're coming, I hear them. What are they? I, I don't know. Did you see their eyes? No. Teeth? No. Oh, this is important, Ben, I need to know. Dean, I don't know. Okay, where are you now? In my room. Can you get to your mom's closet? I left the shotgun in there. No. Dean, what do I do? Should've taught him. I told you this. I'm coming right now. <laughs> coming to get you and your mom, I promise. You with me, Ben? Ben. Don't you sit there? Hello, Dean. Fancy a chat. Let him go now, or I swear. Right, right. You'll rip me a cornucopia of orifices. Let's get to the bit where I tell you how this goes. Your chocolate's been in my peanut butter for far too long. I'm going to kill what? you. Oh, Dean. Ever the wet. I've got your, uh... What are they? Ex-lady friend and not kid. And I'm keeping them until I'm satisfied. 
that you back the hell off. I'm telling you, last chance to let him go easy. Cash is already way ahead of us. You gotta be nuts if you think I'm gonna let you do this alone. Bobby can take care of the case. Yeah, guys, Bobby, this is a big ball, okay? We can't drop it now. Crowley's alive. Why are you being scooped? Cass already told me. Well, did Cass tell you that he is Crowley's butt buddy? You smug little dick? Excuse me? Handshake deal. Co halvesies on all the souls of purgatory. Did he fill you in on that? Well, yes, yes. Yes, of course he did. Yes. No, he oh, didn't. Yes, of course. I, I, we can read it all over your face. <laughs> Crowley and. They're innocent people, and I'm asking for your help. Hmm. I see. Fair enough. Son of a bitch! Look, Dean, let's just call Cass. She Maybe he doesn't know him. anything about You're this. not calling Cass. Yeah, but Dean... We're not calling Cass! So what, then? Call Cass! Make up! I'm in a long-term online relationship, so... <laughs> Well, I'd like to ask you about uh, Lovecraft's last years. Uh, you know, trench coat, looks like Columbo, talks like Rain Man. Castiel? Uh, we're competitors. Rival magazines. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay, well, um, I'll tell you what I told him. Howard had a dinner party. Not much, just open a door into another dimension. Why would they do that? To see what's out there. You know, maybe it's friendly. It's you know? never friendly. I mean, I imagine. They have been so purgatory? Did it work, the spell? Well, uh, there was no mention of Cthulhu in the morning papers. But they were they were right. They, they were right here. Well, it's not like <gasps> an invisible yes. guy could just pop in and steal them, right? Right. Right. So uh I'll leave you to it and um Hey, Pokemon! It's Pokemon, right? Okay, hey. Why is it playing by itself? Thanks, thanks again for <laughs> dropping by, huh? Wait, wait, wait. The fuck tried to jimmy a damn dimensional door. Seems the maid had a nine-year-old boy. He was there. So, he'd be, what, 83 years old now? Well, where is he? Same place he's been ever since the big night. Locked in a mental ward. I see. Um, well, keep me posted, huh? Okay. You're... Running on what? Uh, whiskey and, and coffee and whatever else you're taking. Yeah, and yeah, we're grasping at straws here, man. We've got to kill enough of these demons. Eventually, one of them's gonna tell me where Crowley is. So we good? Oh. Well, look, you've been out for a while. Why don't you at least let me take over? You deserve a break. No thanks. Dean, say him back off. It's Lisa. He feels responsible. Lisa and Ben. Wherever they are, there's a hundred percent on me. And if they are hurt? Castiel, it's Sam. Um, so look, I don't know if you're in on this whole Ben Lisa thing, but if you have any heart whatsoever, bring him back to us, man. Come on. Please. I'm begging you. I am begging you. Do you understand? Come on, Cass, pull through. Pull through. I'm merely exploiting the obvious loophole. As long as I have the woman and the boy, your fop quaffed little heroes will be scouring the earth for them. Therefore, not you and not me. Everybody wins. You should have talked to me first. I'd rather ask forgiveness than permission. Want to stop me? Go find friggin' purgatory! Call on the bat phone. Are you in flagrante with the King of Hades? Of course not. <laughs> Always was such a terrible liar. So it's true. All right, then. Why? It's a means to an end. Balthazar, you understand that. Suck up all those souls into yourself. All that power. It's the only way. Or too much juice for you. In which case, you explode, taking a substantial chunk of the planet along with you. That won't happen. Sure, sure. 
Of course. I didn't think of that. Just, just tell me that it's entirely risk-free. No, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you, but I need to know. Don't explode. Are you with me or not? Do you believe in monsters? Yeah. You know, you go saying that, they'll lock you in the ear, rest of your life. Whatever you saw, you tell me. And I'll buy it straight. But but it was invisible. So no one knew. Except me. How did How you did see you it invisible? Know that? Because it took my mother. It went into her. She wasn't the same. She even smelled different. And then she disappeared. What was it? And surprise, surprise. One by one, they all start dying. Who was Sorry. it? Sorry. About your mom. Was it like Eve? But then Eve went mm. back and then Eve came out? I don't know. <laughs> Did it say Elma? I'll be damned. Well, I swear. Oh, no. I will rip your Dean, skin off. You're getting strip sloppy. By strip. And then I'm going to kill you. You think it would have dried by now? The next demon. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> I can't stay mad at him. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you said that we were like family. Well, I think that too. Shouldn't trust run both ways. Okay, so I just can't. But Dana. Sam broke his trust and I he was just as cold towards ask. him. I always come when you call, and I am your friend. Still, despite your lack of faith in me and now your threats. You that I will find Lisa and Ben, and I will bring them back. Stand behind me. The one time I ask. You asking me to stand down? Dean, that's the same damn ransom note that Crowley handed me. You know that, right? Well, no thanks. I'll find him myself. In fact, why don't you go back to Crowley and tell him that I said you can both kiss my ass. I don't like this. I don't like them fighting. Stop it. Be best friends again. Is she the girl with the sword? The kill the dragon? So, how did you find me? Uh, we weren't together long, Allie, but uh, I, I, I know a thing or two about you. I know your safe houses. And let me tell you. Not that I'd have minded, but you kind of fibbed about your age, too. Just slightly. 900 years. So what's your game, then? Game? Yeah, why are you here? Eve came through and raised all kinds of hell quickly. You've been here how long? You're from freaking purgatory. You never thought to mention that the whole time you slept with me? I am what I am, Bobby. And I happen to be a friend. You want to explain that to me? I didn't ask those idiots to crack the door. I just happened to be the thing that fell through. And let me tell you something, you are lucky it was me. You said... Look, I have spent 75 years trying to keep purgatory closed. Why do you think I gave Dean the sword? Okay, yeah, to it is, okay. Eve. Hell, right, you yeah, guys were supposed right. to kill the damn dragons. Look, this all comes down to one angel. He wants purgatory, and he's looking for you. At least let me take you somewhere. Protect you. No. What is she? Thanks. Maybe I she can protect have a herself. couple other places lined up. Don't worry. Are you going to turn to our side? Stressful times. Well, we need to talk. Tell her to pick the side. Right. Because I know I'm going to live to regret this, but I'm officially on your 
home team. You bastards. <laughs> I wish you believe you why. He seems awfully sure of himself for a man who wants to swallow a million nuclear reactors. I mean, these things can get a bit Chernobyl, you know? So, voila. Consider me your double agent. Oh, uh, and I took the liberty of searching for your friends. Uh, took a while. You know, Crowley is a clever one. You found them? The upside is yes. Uh, the downside is no, I can't get them for you. I like you, Michael Markelson. All right, boys. That's this is where I get off. I'll be with you and what have you. I was just about to say. Yeah. Shit. Crowley I was in the middle of saying it. So he had me jump this hot little piece of ass for insurance. Huh? Another I'm the someone that's spiritus. Free up and death. As something for Tiger. <laughs> you know, she's awake in here. I was just going to tell him that you're his real daddy. <laughs> just kidding. Who knows who your real dad is, kid? Your mom's a slut. You shut your mouth. Oh, what? You're Excuse the white me? It's so she Dean. met you, Dean. You're the worst mistake she ever made. Says a C-minus lay with ten miles of daddy issues. Whatever gets you through the night, Tiny Tim. Uh, uh, he'd probably off, be a cowboy. very good lay. You know, she's begging me to kill you. She says you hold her back. You mean just fine. What's the matter, Dean? Hit me! Es el mundo espiritu. Shut your mouth. Something spiritual. Satanica. Protest us. Omnis incursio in banalis ad the sai. Omnis congratio et secta diabolica. Ergo draco amicitia. You sure about that? <laughs> Exercise me now. She's just a dead meat suit. Now, what was it you wanted to say? Sakura, TV, first the the patate. Severe. Hero Gums. Audi knows. Mom! Son! It's Ben. Hey! Listen, man, I need you to pull together, okay? You gotta be strong. Your mom needs you right now. Go from that duffel bag, grab the salt gun. I gotta carry your mom out, so if anything comes at us, you shoot it. But Go, now! You can do it! You can do it, Mini Dean! Ben, mark my words. You will never, ever, Shoot a gun. Ever. Mini Dean! Ben! <laughs> ben! Dean. Come on, pull it together. You want your mom to die? Let's go. Come on, we gotta get to the hospital. Ben, give the gun to him. Sam, we need a ride. Sam, we gotta go faster, man. It's fine. It's just fine. Healer. We should be dead by midnight. I'm sorry. I don't care. Still 
little too late. What do you... Oh. If she's hooked up to the... What? Huh? Well, regardless, I didn't come for you. Meaning? Kayla! She's fine now. Good! Thank you. I wish this changed anything. I know. So do I. All else aside, I just wanted to fix what I could. There's one more thing you could do for me. We were in a car crash. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You hit your head pretty bad, but you're okay now. Made him forget the incident? Hi. Man, I forget Green. Dean. <sighs> the way they were I'm looking Dean. at him. Like, who the hell is that? Uh, the guy who hit you. <laughs> I just, uh... Why? I lost control for a minute. And I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. No, you, you didn't. I'm so happy you two are both okay. But, uh, but like, Kyle is still okay. gonna know. So, so that's what's important, right? Yeah. Anyway. Dean, you know, you have pulled some shady crap before, but this has got to be the worst. Whitewashing their memories? Take from somebody who knows. You ever mention me, sir, bend to me again, I will break your nose. Dean, I'm not kidding. Supernatural Season 6 episode 21 titled Let It Bleed Ugh. Which I thought at the beginning was a it's filler. Thank god it wasn't Dude, I That's uh, Dude saying that he just lost control Kind of has like a double meaning to it And it's like kind of like He lost control and he let himself feel for a minute And like have a family and and then he like he was like basically saying and that was wrong for me to lose control and that's really devastating and i think that's what made me cry that's like not okay the way that like she and him like looked at him i could just kind of tell that i didn't oh. i'm glad the cast came through in the end and like kind of tried to make things right but I don't know how this finale is gonna go down does that mean that we're done with Ben and Lisa like as a whole because that's really sad because I'm still convinced that Ben is Dean's son especially after he like straight up was holding a shotgun I'm just saying that's mini Dean um I'm glad that Balthazar, like, helped out Sam and Dean, which is good. Um. And I'm glad that they remembered the, <laughs> the depossession spell that I constantly bring up. I actually haven't brought it up in a while, actually, but I, I know. They, they, like, kill so many demons with the knife that they could have just been like, I'm just a wounded spiritist every time, and they just don't. Must be just for the important people that they save it for. That they can be bothered to remember it for. Ah. Well. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, 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 uh.